Welcome to our lecture online. Now here we have a very interesting example. We have 4x minus a complex fraction. So what we're going to do here is first simplify the complex fraction and then see what we have left over to see where, how we're going to go on to the next step. So we're no, not going to touch the 4x at least for now. When we look at the numerator and the denominator, we have an x in the numerator, we have an x in the denominator. So just for that portion, the LCD is equal to an x, which means we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by x, like this. So this becomes 4x minus 2 times x, that's 2x, and minus 1 over x times x. Notice the x cancels out, we're left with, one over, with just the negative 1. In the denominator, 3 over x times x, the x's cancel out, we're left with 3 plus 1 times x plus x. All right, now think of this as a rational expression subtracted from 4x. So now here we're going to need the same common denominator. So in this case, the lowest common denominator is equal to 3 plus x, which means we're going to take the 4x and multiply it times 3 plus x, but also divide it by 3 plus x. So now notice we can cancel this and get the original back, but now we can subtract from that 2x minus 1 over 3 plus x, which of course is the same as, well, it's the same, 3 plus x. So now we have the same common denominator. We can write all that over the same denominator, so this is equal to 4x times 3 plus x minus 2x minus times the minus becomes plus 1. So here we have to be careful. We're subtracting both of these, so 2x becomes negative and the minus 1 becomes positive, all divided by 3 plus x. And now we just have to multiply what's in the numerator and collect common terms. So this is 4x times 3, which is 12x. 4x plus x, that's plus 4x squared, minus 2x plus 1, all divided by 3 plus x. Of course, we can write this as x plus 3. Collecting common terms, this is equal to 4x squared, 12x minus 2x, which would be plus 10x, and plus 1, all divided by x plus 3. Now take a look at that real quickly to see if that can be factored, but no, we can't factor that, so that would be the final form of our complex fraction, and that is how it's done.